Durgapur, the second ever planned city in India, home to one of India's biggest integrated steel plants. And now, home also to a visionary technology that is taking one steel re-rolling mill towards greater productivity and sustainability. This is the story of how Vaishnavi Ispat went green. In 2004, the Ministry of Steel and the United Nations Development Programme in India joined hands to launch a unique project. Supported by the Global Environment Facility, the project sought to facilitate energy efficiency among secondary steel producers. One of the ways in which the project aimed to achieve this was by identifying and modifying state-of-the-art energy efficient technology or Ecotech to suit the needs of steel re-rolling mills. Ecotech is basically energy saving options which is eco-friendly, you reduce the power, so reduce the GHG emissions and economically viable, which has got a payback period ranging from three months to one and a half year. So we identified about 13 Ecotech options in the re furnaces and about 19 Ecotech options in the rolling mills. One of the Ecotech options was hot charging of continuous cast pellets, an innovative process that promised to deliver huge savings on fuel consumption and consequently a reduction in greenhouse gas emissions. So what is hot charging of continuous cast pellets? In a typical steel re-rolling mill, hot pellets emerging from the caster are allowed to cool down to ambient temperature. These are then reheated in a reheating furnace and then rolled into the final product. But hot charging eliminates the need to reheat billets from room temperature. It directly transports the hot billets from the caster into the reheating furnace, thereby reducing heat loss. This practice also results in a reduction in residence time inside the reheating furnace which in turn reduces fuel consumption, lowers burning loss and increases productivity. Although hot charging held the potential to save 30 to 40% of fuel costs, there were few takers for the technology. Amongst the Ecotech options, we have what is called hot charging, which features as a, one of the high-end technology, which, is, which gives uh, very good results, but um, it is uh, a little on the higher side in, the, in terms of the cost. It also remained untested for a while and uh, the units were a little apprehensive initially. Despite barriers of cost and untested capabilities, one steel re-rolling mill decided to take the lead. And in doing so, Vaishnavi Ispat became the first steel re-rolling mill in India to adopt hot charging. India is blessed with good quality of iron ore. But our technology is very backdated and we consume huge amount of energy. So secondary steel producers, they manufacture the billet. They keep it stored elsewhere, get cooled totally from 1200 degree to zero degree. Then they take to their rolling mill, heat back again to 1100 degree temperature, then roll it. So we are losing energy to a great extent. Hot charging means uh, we want to catch the hot billet at a temperature of 900 degrees or so and put it back to the reheating furnace so that we gain this temperature. After joining the project as a model unit, Vaishnavi Ispad began receiving technical guidance that would enable it to deploy hot charging. The successful integration of hot charging in its production process has enabled Vaishnavi Ispad achieve considerable savings. The neat result is that today, say in Bengal, most of the units consume 42 litres of furnace oil to roll one tonne of steel. Here in my plant, now it is 23, 24 litres of furnace oil is required, so I'm saving that much of money. With its far-sighted vision, 
Vaishnavi Ispath has emerged as one of the leaders of the steel re-rolling sector. Its success story serves as an inspiration to those who seek to merge business interest with sustainable development. Even high-end technology is getting accepted and we, we would see much higher reductions in the carbon dioxide. Our duty and responsibility is to minimize pollution to the best possible extent. One of the best ways to minimize the consumption of energy. We can live a better world for tomorrow.